Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new boat that we have in stock here in San Diego. This is a Swift Trawler 48 from Beneteau. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. The Swift Trawler 48 is a brand new boat from Beneteau. This model debuted last uh, February at the Miami Boat Show. Really beautiful new design. This one we has the hard top up top light oak interior which we'll go take a look at shortly up at the bow you have a delta anchor on an electric windlass really nice stainless steel pulpit and a flip up seat on the bow the swift trawlers are asymmetric you have a path on the port side here and a wider path on starboard on the port side your cabinetry you have more interior volume whereas on the starboard side You've got a nice wide path going all the way up to the bow that also has an access door so i can easily step from the dock into the boat right up to the helm station on the transom there is a hydraulic swim platform with optional teak wood back here you have a chalk in the middle to lift up and put a dinghy so this platform can drop in you can drive a dinghy right onto it, or you can put some chairs out here and have a little beach. Put that uh, just, just under the water and have a nice comfortable beach off the back of your boat. Something I want to point out on the exterior that I really like this year is this teak wood fashion plate on the sides of the boat with the logo. Looks incredible. That's a new incorporation into the Swift Trawler line. Off to port side, we have a wide entrance gate here and beautiful staircase going up to the flybridge. This can slide forward on a track. That way you can make more room here in the cockpit. Have a dining area and just uh, more space to entertain. Aft in the cockpit, there are a couple of cup holders, a shower here, hot and cold so that if you came out of the water, either from the uh, starboard side swim ladder, or if you have one off the port side, you can use fresh water to take a hot or cold shower. There's a manual bilge pump fitting here, a couple of steps leading up to the bow and off to the starboard side, cup holders, large cleat, and then the control for your hydraulic swim platform to drop that entirely in the water, whether you're launching or uh, retrieving your dinghy, or again, just want that, uh, that private beach. The aft doors to the salon all recess into the port side, so you can slide this all completely closed. And we also have a door on starboard, which prevents all the wind from coming through the cockpit when you're underway. Let's take a quick look at the bow before we check out the interior nice wide path up here you can have one big sun pad or you can see here we have the backrest flipped up to have a little bench right here at the bow that lumar electric windlass and then a little teak wood step here above your anchor it's really beautiful just above these uh, coach roof windows is a swiveling uh, spotlight Beautiful styling. I love the lines of the Swift Trawler. See here, good protection, LED lighting, that teak wood fashion plate. Now we'll step into the salon and galley. This is a really nice layout to have your galley aft blending into the cockpit, essentially all on one level leading up to your salon and helm station. Pan across there again. It's Really, really nice use of space. Great for entertaining or, or a family. The refrigeration is just like at home. You have a large refrigerator and freezer. Really impressive to have in this size boat. You have your Miele convection uh, microwave down here, stove top lots of storage and a stainless steel single sink. This is a really brilliant invention. There is a magic corner here 
that swivels out so you can access all of the space inside this cabinetry, really utilizing every inch. Lock that closed. Really beautiful countertops in this boat too. We spec this boat, which is an available stock boat right now with the light oak interior wood color. And then also with the louvered painted doors, which is an option from the factory, really beautiful. Also the Vilroy and Bach kit here. So this cabinet is optional to have your glassware and it's got LED backlighting in it. Really elegant and beautiful. And then you have your full kit of plates, silverware, everything you need for the boat. In here, you can see there's also um, little storage areas for coffee mugs and, and everything you need for the boat. Forward of that storage compartment is an ice maker. And then you have a little storage and air conditioning components forward of that. Throughout the boat, you'll find USB so you can charge devices at any time straight off the DC system in the boat. And then if you have your generator or shore power on, you can use the AC plug. Just forward of the galley is this large wraparound salon table, which has an electric lift to drop that down or bring it up top for a good dining surface. Down below you have a wine fridge, beautiful ultra leather, and then a couple of sliding windows that open up, as well as this entire compartment here, we can see that track this is gonna make another double berth. So you can drop down this table, fill that in and have two people sleep here and have a curtain for privacy. In addition to the three cabins down below. This helm seat here, you can swivel and create a larger dining area, flipping this table over. And then at the helm station, we've got a lot to see. This boat has the twin Cummins diesel. So that's your throttle controls here bow and stern thruster for really easy docking. You can simply look out this window. It's real easy when you're docking the boat to see the entire length of the boat and then simply step through this door to operate the boat shorthanded. Very, very simple. For the Cummins diesel displays, this is gonna light up and show you all of your engine data. Just below is your VHF radio, fire suppression, ignition keys, that spotlight we looked at on the bow controls with this remote. Here's your autopilot. And then inboard you have your DC switches. So all the navigation, water pump, lighting, the um, windshield wipers, defroster. You can parallel the batteries. So say one of your engine batteries dies, well you can parallel to the house and start your engine. Really, really nice. Uh, lift and lower the anchor. Turn on your anchor light when you are anchored overnight. Your nav lights for when you're motoring um, at night, at the, in the evening or morning or at night. And then also bilge pumps and horn. This little dial here is another USB port so you can have your cell phone plugged in charging while you're at the helm. And that is just below our twin Raymarine multifunction displays. These are touchscreen chart plotters that essentially work like an iPad, a tablet, control everything on the boat from your charting navigation, to radar, um, you can do the video camera off the back. So if you're docking the boat, we can see the transom. Really sophisticated system from Ray Marine. And then we also do have the ship control, which is a system for Beneto to monitor your power, your lights, everything in the boat. But I do really like this display too for your engines. So when you're running, you do have some beautiful engine displays in addition to the display off to the right. Lots of redundancies here too. You have more engine data up above your tachometers and fuel indicators, as well as a rudder indicator right in the middle below the compass. Just above the nav station, you have a light that we can turn on uh, red, which is really nice. It's nice for night navigation to maintain your night vision. Great visibility at the helm too. Large windows all around. 
And just to pour it, this panel lifts up and you can have a really large TV there, which is a great design. So you can hide away your TV, but have a nice area where anyone in the galley, salon, or even back in the cockpit, if you had a game on the TV, really, really nice way to host. And then the TV will hide away and it looks very elegant. This boat was ordered with the carpet kits in the salon and cabins from Beneteau. Underneath this carpet is the dark wood floor. It's really pretty. The carpet gives it a really nice homey feel. And walking down, we'll take a look at the cabins, starting with this forward master cabin. Large centerline berth with steps going up on either side. There's really nice finishing here. You can see the leather with the stitching. Big windows with opening ports on both sides. There's indirect LED lighting, a couple of reading lights, and then a leather headboard with light switches and USB ports on either side for charging your devices. Couple LEDs overhead. Port side is a hanging locker and the LED lights come on when you open the um, doors. There's some storage shelves here, nice trim, and a spot for a TV up in this forward cabin. Overhead is a large hatch for ventilation. Also, it's an escape hatch. You can actually climb through that. And now we'll go take a look. You have two more cabins and two heads. Uh, first, you have a mirror and a head with a separate shower, really large separate shower stall there. Bowl sink, electric fresh water or salt head. There's a switch here that we put in so you can use either salt or fresh. It's gonna pull from fresh first. The hinges here are magnetic, so nothing to scratch you when you're opening and closing these doors. Off to the port side. You have a guest cabin with a lot of headroom here, two single berths, or you could fill this in to be one large berth. There's a hanging locker and then access into the head. This is really cool. You can lock this door in the hallway so that this becomes a private head for that guest cabin, or this could be your day head. So all of your guests can share, use this head compartment, which has a separate shower. Lots of headroom, I'm 6'1", and I have a couple inches overhead. Fresh or salt water again. And then opposing is an additional berth. So you have another double berth that goes under the helm. And this has a lot of storage. This is a big cabinet with leather poles. There's also a technical compartment here, so you can see these uh, warning labels on the doors, because this is where your AC breakers are located, as well as an inverter control and the GFCI for the outlets in the boat. A couple of opening ports in this cabin. I like how there's leather on the doors, so those are all of your door stops. Now we'll go take a look at the flybridge coming up these teak steps. You have an enormous amount of space up here. A couple of folding chairs aft. The hard top with the radar. Walking forward, this is a flybridge galley. So you've got an electric grill, sink, as well as a trash bin, and then a refrigerator next to it. A few speakers up here, the Fusion stereo's on right now. This is really nice, a, an acrylic exterior cushions with the folding teak table top.
Then forward to that, we have our nav station, which is really similar to the lower level where you have chart plotter from Ray Marine. Our tachometers, rudder indicator and fuel again, autopilot, control for the multifunction displays, another control for that spotlight, your engine start and stops, throttle, thrusters. You can also drop the anchor, activate a bilge pump, horn, make it open and close the flybridge, as well as turn the lights on in the flybridge. So you can see this panel opens up if we want a little bit of sunlight and close it up. And then this one has Lenco trim tabs. So that's what that control is there with the spot for the VHF radio below. A couple of cup holders on either side with storage. And then something I really love about the uh, seating up here is you can have one, two, three, four people all forward facing here at the helm, or you can flip these seats the other direction. So you can have a entertaining space uh, when you're anchored, docked, or wherever you're cruising. Really nice use of space up here on the Swift Trawler 48. Last thing that we will look at is the engine's generator and this storage space under the cockpit floor. So you have a couple of opening hatches, one in the galley here that gets you down into the engine room. So a couple of steps down on this aluminum ladder get you into the engine room where the fuel tanks are forward. And then you have Cummins turbo diesel engines on either side, which are shaft driven. You can see the large turbo here and then transmission drive shaft going through the hole. Really easy to get to the uh, raw water sea strainers and uh, fuel filters. After there, you have two opening hatches with gas struts easy to open it gives you access easily to your generator there's a battery and C strainer there for the generator and then we also have some uh, safety gear stored in here you can see how much space there is if you wanted to store fishing gear diving gear inflatable paddle boards or kayaks you have tons of space underneath the floor here Thank you for joining me on this tour of the Swift Trawler 48 from Beneteau that we have here at South Coast Yachts in stock. Feel free to reach out right away for more information about this boat and to get on board yourself. I look forward to talking to you soon.